Look at that. Welcome to our cozy little living room. This is a, a version of a living room session. This is what we had in Lisbon. And we'll get to that story in a minute, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, look, congratulations on Madame X. I mean, if I told you in 1979, right, 1978, when you got to New York, that we're going to be talking in 2019 about 14 no. albums <laughs> and 300 million... First of all, I would have ignored you. Okay, yeah. right. All right. <laughs> okay. That's fair. Okay. That's fair. I mean, because you would have been a stranger. Right, like, right, exactly. Who is this guy talking to me on the street about But a beautiful stranger. Yes, that's, Thank you. that's a good song, yes. He's wow. good, he's good. Wow, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but if I told you, wow, 300 million albums you've sold, I mean, 14 albums, I mean, uh, this is amazing, you're at this point. I, I, I'm grateful to be here, I'm grateful to be alive and be able to, to be creative and still have, you know, something to say and be able to inspire people, so to, I couldn't be happier. And thank you, because it's all about you guys. Yeah. It is. And thanks to all of you and us, Madonna, congratulations, because we are hearing a rumor that your album will be number one this weekend. Yay! Woo! Yes, yes, thank you, God, thank you, God. And yes, Crave yes, thank you, God. will be the number one dance song in the country as well, and this really, Madame X is an amazing journey. It's a wonderful, wonderful album, so thank you for that. My pleasure. And thank by the way, fun fact, Crave uh, is your 47th number one dance hit. 47. That's crazy. Did you know that? No. <laughs> you're, you're just full of statistics, you he's young a, man. He's a real DJ. He keeps But now that I know things. you, I'll speak to you so you can tell me all the good news. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, all right. Madame X is a collection of 15 new songs influenced by you living in Portugal. Mostly. I mean, right. And it celebrates your career-long affair with Latin music and culture as well as uh, all your global influences. Right. Um, tell us about how Lisbon really changed... Your kind my of life. musical, your life, your musical field. Well, it changed my life because who? I mean, talk about thinking about where I was going to be in 2019 in 1979. Um, I never in a, in a million years could have imagined that I would live in Lisbon, um, but it really was um, about supporting my son's passion for for soccer um, and wanting to have an adventure, get outside of America for a minute, and uh, really, I spun a wheel. It was like, you know, when you spin the globe and your hand lands in a country, <laughs> right, it's like, right. Lisbon, okay, let's go there. Um, so I did go there, and it was, a, it was a confusing, crazy experience for me, specifically in the beginning, because I didn't know anybody, and the culture there is very different. It's very um, much slower than New York. If you're, you know, in the New York state of mind where everything happens like that, don't expect that in Lisbon, okay? <laughs> um, but there are amazing things about Lisbon. The, the culturally, um, the music, the music and art scene in, in Lisbon is—I've never seen anything like it. It's it's so alive. But you have to look for it. It's not out in the open. And um, in my moments of loneliness and not having a friend, which reminded me of my early days of New York. Um, I met a few people who led me to meeting other people who introduced me to amazing musicians who invited me to parties and small bars and clubs. Not, nothing like a disco or anything like that where I saw and heard music that I'd never heard before. I mean, um, I was truly, truly inspired and I had no intention of going to Lisbon to make a record and somehow it just happened, you know? Well, are there any albums, out? actually, if you look back on other albums you've put out, mm -hmm. are there any other... Like countries that have maybe influenced me like influenced that. Influenced you, like no. I mean, living in New York always makes me feel turnt. Uh, <laughs> but and I've been very inspired. I mean, the song Vogue, which you were playing earlier, was inspired by walking into a, um, a nightclub. It may have been the Paradise Garage. I'm not sure, but uh, and seeing um, the extravaganza. Um, uh, crew basically uh, voguing and I was like whoa what the hell is that and and it was just the most amazing thing but that's how I felt in Lisbon truly inspired and like it made me feel alive again because I'm telling you I had no intention in, of making another record so um and I don't think I've you know like um I've gone to Spain and I've been really inf like inspired by flamenco music for instance um so, but I don't, I didn't live there, you know what I mean? Right. Living in a place is a whole different ball game to being a tourist, so. Well, we wanna get into the details of that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.